What are we reading today? The Emperor's New Clothes. The Emperor's New Clothes. And can you tell me something about this book? It's silly. It's silly. This book was actually my book when I was little. Um, it's old. But yeah, it's been in tell. our it's been in our family library for a long time. Let's see. Yeah, see this one's from 1977, so it's it's really old. Yeah, ready? Mm-hmm. All right. The Emperor's new clothes. Which he has no clothes. Yeah. Let's read it for our friends. The Emperor's new clothes. There once was an emperor who loved new clothes. He spent all of his money on clothes, and he spent all of his time trying on new suits and showing them off. One day, two men came to town where the emperor lived. They said that they were weavers. They said that they could weave the most beautiful cloth in the world. These men were not really weavers, though. They were liars. The two men went straight to the emperor's palace. Your majesty, said one of the men, everybody knows about the beautiful cloth we weave. But have you heard the amazing thing about it? The other man said, some people cannot see our cloth. They cannot see it even when they are looking right at it. Cannot see it, said the emperor. What kind of people can't see your beautiful cloth? Stupid people, said the man. And people who are not good at their jobs, said the other. That's truly amazing, said the emperor. I must have a suit made out of that cloth. The emperor told the two men to begin weaving the cloth at once. The men said that they would need a lot of money. And they said that they would need the best gold thread and the best silk thread to weave with. The emperor gave them the money and the thread, and he gave them a room in his palace to work in. The men put up two big looms to weave on, but they did not put the thread on the looms. They put the thread away in a big bag. Day after day, the two men sat at the empty looms and pretended to weave. Everyone was waiting for the cloth to be finished. Everyone was waiting to find out if their friends would be able to see it. The emperor wanted to go look at the cloth. He was sure he'd be able to see it. I know I'm not stupid, he said to himself. And I know I'm good at being an emperor. But still, just this once, I think I'll send somebody else. So the emperor sent his chief minister down to the workroom. How do you like our beautiful cloth? said one of the men. The chief minister looked at the one loom. Then he looked at the other. He couldn't see any cloth because there wasn't any cloth to see. Dear me, he said to himself. I can't see the cloth. Am I stupid? I never thought I was. A am I bad at my job? If I am, I must keep it a secret. I must not say that I cannot see the cloth. So the chief minister said to the men, The cloth is beautiful. Be sure to tell that to the emperor, said one of the men. Tell him about the beautiful colors. Tell him about how the gold thread shines. The chief minister went back to the emperor. The colors are beautiful, he said. The reds, the purples, and how the gold thread shines. The next day, the two men asked the emperor for more money and more gold thread and more silk thread. The emperor gave them the money and the thread. The men put the money in their pockets. They put the thread away in their bag, and they kept pretending to weave. Soon, the emperor wanted to know when his cloth would be finished. This time, he sent his second chief minister down to the workroom. The second chief minister looked at one loom. Then he looked at the other. He couldn't see a thing on the looms because there wasn't a thing to see. Oh dear, he thought. I can't see the cloth, but I'd better pretend that I can. So he said to the men, 
the cloth is beautiful. He went back to the emperor and said, the cloth is really beautiful. The emperor couldn't wait a minute longer. He had to see the beautiful cloth for himself. The emperor went down to the workroom. He took his chief minister and his second chief minister with him. The first chief minister looked at the empty looms. How the gold thread shines, he said. The second chief minister said, that cloth is really beautiful. The emperor looked at one loom, and then he looked at the other. He could not see a thing on the looms. What is this? He said to myself. Am I stupid? No, that's not possible. Is it possible that I'm not a good emperor? Oh no, that would be terrible. Well, I'll have to pretend that I see a beautiful cloth. So the emperor said to the two men, Excellent, beautiful, wonderful. He gave each of them a medal to show how pleased he was. And now, your majesty, said one of the men, we are ready to cut the cloth and make a suit for you. Splendid, the emperor said. We are having a big parade next week. I will wear my new suit then. Before the day of the parade, the two men stayed up all night. They used more than 20 candles to light the room so everyone could see how hard they were working. They pretended to take the cloth off the looms. They moved their hands around in the air and snapped their scissors together. They used big needles and pretended to sew with them. But the needles had no thread. At last it was morning, the day of the pig parade. And now, said one of the men, the emperor's new clothes are ready. The emperor went to the workroom at once. One of the men pretended to hold out a coat. Here is your new coat, your majesty, he said. It is light as a feather. And here are your new trousers, the other man said. And here is your long royal cape. Your new clothes are so light, you will hardly feel you have them on. The emperor took off the clothes he was wearing, and the two men pretended to help put the new ones on. The emperor turned around and around in front of the mirror. My new clothes feel as light as a feather, he said. The two noblemen were supposed to hold up the ends of the new royal cape. They couldn't see the cape. They couldn't see the trousers or the coat either, but they weren't going to say so. So they fell around on the floor and pretended to pick up the ends of the cape. The emperor and the noblemen marched out of the palace. The people in the street were waiting to see the big parade. Look at the emperor, the people cried. What a beautiful new suit he has. Nobody could see the emperor's new clothes, but nobody was going to say so. The emperor, look at the emperor, everyone said. What a beautiful new suit he is wearing. He hasn't got anything on, a little child said. Did you hear what that child said, somebody whispered. A little child said the emperor hasn't got anything on. Hasn't got anything on, one person said, and then another, and another. Hasn't got anything on? Everybody shouted at last. The emperor hasn't got anything on. The emperor knew now that the people were right, but he had to stay into the parade until it was over. The parade must go on, the emperor thought, and I must keep going too. So the emperor walked proudly the rest of the way. That must have been embarrassing. A little bit, yeah. And the two noblemen walked behind him, holding up the ends of the new royal cape. The cape that wasn't there. The ends. That's a funny book. Yeah. What's it about? Um, two liars. Two liars. Were they con artists? Uh, trying to trick somebody and get money from them? Yeah. Yeah. And everybody was too proud to admit that they couldn't see it, even though there was nothing to see. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's always best to be honest. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. You ready to say prayers? Mm-hmm. Okay.
Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this child, Lord God, and please bless him tonight while he sleep. Let him have a good night's sleep. Keep him safe. Keep him healthy, Lord God. And I'd just like to pray for all of our friends watching. Lord God, I pray that they are safe, that they are healthy tonight, that whatever they're going through, that they, that they know that you are with them, that they are praying to you, reaching out to you, talking to you, Lord God. I just pray for that tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Can you say good night to your friends? Bye. Bye, friends. Good night. See you next time. Like and subscribe to see more videos.